It is July 28, 1945, in the last days of World War II. Until the World Trade Center opens, the Empire State Building is the tallest building on Earth. 102 floors filled with 21,000 workers. Twenty-year-old Betty Lou Oliver is one of them. Betty Lou was the elevator operator, this nice, sweet lady, you know, about my age, teenager, and she was working there. At 9.30, Betty Lou takes a coffee break, high on the 80th floor. It was so foggy, just like pea soup. I never saw it that bad before. Less than a mile away, Army Air Corps pilot William Smith is lost in the fog Come in. Come in. and growing desperate. I can't even see it. I can't see anything. Bank left! Bank left! The bomber flies straight into the 79th floor, one story below Betty Lou. A burning engine rips through the core of the building. As on 9-11, the real danger is burning aviation fuel. Everybody was frantic and nobody knew what was happening. Despite a 20-foot hole in the building, remarkably, it stays standing. Of the 1,000 people working there, only 14 die. And miraculously, amongst the survivors is Betty Lou. Only two days later, the Empire State reopens for business. 